This video covers digital inputs on the Serbo GX and for this sample or illustration I have set up three types of digital inputs to represent the options that are available and maybe some of the systems that you might have in place uh, and hooked up to your digital input. First let me show you what's going on on the monitor here. So we'll see these. There's a bilge pump. This will tell us when the bilge pump is on or off. Currently it's in the off state. Um, there is a high bilge alarm. So this will either be okay as it is right now or it will indicate an alarm status. And then just for the purpose of illustrating another one of the digital input possibilities, I set it to a smoke alarm. So either it's okay or it's in the alarm status. You can see here that those are okay. So let me start with the high bilge alarm first. So this is probably one of the simplest types of inputs uh, on the digital input. And what I have here is just a basic float switch, it's just a magnetic reed switch. And it is wired one, uh, the leads are wired to the digital input. Uh, one on each side. So you've got two digital inputs, so it's wired there. And what happens is when I move the float up, it triggers the alarm. So I will do that. You can watch here and you can see the high bilge alarm. I move the switch up and we have an alarm status. Let the switch fall, goes back to okay. So this is simply completing the circuit, right? And that is triggering the alarm status for the servo. The next possibility is a potential free or a dry contact relay. And so this one would illustrate, for example, uh, if you wanted to monitor when your bilge pump was running and when your bilge pump was off. And so it would be wired into the bilge pump 12 volt circuit on this side. And then you would have your digital input output or leads here on this side, totally isolated from the 12 volt bilge pump input. So 12 volts here, but we're not transmitting any of that here. We're simply closing a relay in here that drops the voltage inside the servo and says to the circuit board there that the device is on in that case. So I've wired this to a 12 volt power supply to simulate uh, the bilge pump running. And so that is the top one here, bilge pump. You'll note that it's off. I will turn the power supply up and you may just hear the relay click and you'll see the bilge pump switch from off to on. There it goes. Bilge pump is on. We heard the relay. Turn the voltage back down or off. And it turns off. All right. The other option for the digital input is an optocoupler. So that's what we have here. Wired to 12 volts on this side, the input side. Wired these two leads to the Servo GX. And that one is going to be this smoke alarm currently in the okay state. Again, like the bilge pump, I've got it connected to a power supply. I'm going to send some current to it, turn the voltage up. You should see the red light. Let's see. We'll see the red light in the, on the optocoupler flip on as well. So you can watch the smoke alarm and the optocoupler. There it goes, and it alarms. So currently, let's see, I'm putting 13.3 you know, volts to the optocoupler, triggering the Servo GX on the output side. Turn the voltage down, back to okay. So those are three options for wiring up digital inputs. The optocoupler, a potential for your dry contact relay, and then the simple float switch in this case. And that's how it works.
pretty simple.